Hello and welcome to Two Point Hospital. Today we're in Lower Bullocks and what we have the same problem that we had in the last episode. Um, they were recorded at the same time and I in fact messed up the audio so I'm doing a voiceover. So what I'm doing now is in the career goals um, we are able to select um, Kudosh and because of goals that we have accomplished so I've collected those and we now have 570 Kudosh which is awesome so I'm going in now and unlocking is it just me some the pointy mountains getting rewards pointy so I've clicked on the money and get them psych psychiatry room I mean, who wants and I think to I'm going to unlock this diagnostic mountain. bookcase the treatment bookcase Hand sanitizer. Please go online to rate and review the hospital. Now, what became clear is something that wasn't immediately obvious. I guess if you read the item close enough, you'd see it. Is that a, a bookcase, all bookcases aren't created equal. You have different bookcases per room. So, and here's where I discover that. Um, so you have to, you actually have to click on the room and then you're able to add the bookcase. So, yeah, it is a kudosh sink. I guess I'm looking for that bookcase still. This list is a fairly long list. There you go. And it says it clearly there are psychiatric books that improve diagnostic ability. And that is uh, for treatment for psych psychology as well. So that's awesome. Now I'm still in lower bullocks and I think I should be moving to fluttering soon. Um, here I'm just you know, spending my bookcase money. <laughs> I spent all my um, kudash on psychiatry bookcases, which is kind of funny. We have our golden toilets from the last time and we also have hand sanitizers which I've now added into the rooms. Well, to the bathroom at least. They certainly are buying snacks. Staff are reminded not to be stressed. There's nothing here that I can um, buy, now is the time for which is frustrating. Bungle rocket watches. Because frankly, that's all you really want to so do. You, you just want to buy. buy. So we're leaving. We're leaving lower bullocks, and we're heading into fluttering. And fluttering is where the game introduces training so as your staff level up they have these open training slots which we've all seen as you promote them and you can focus what they can learn in those training slots so this is great because as you um, go through the game you can go back in your older hospitals and train up you know your initial staff having a cold beverage excuse me <clears throat> all 
All right, so this hospital truly has nothing in it. So we have $200,000 and we have to start from scratch. So you have to add the reception and of course I, I don't like putting it in the middle. I like putting it to the side because I don't want people lining up to the door. I want them lining up from the door. It's a silly thing. I'm also trying to position these chairs so that they go along the line of how move in the same direction people will line up to the reception desk. Um, so if people are waiting or you know whatever they can go they can have a seat. Alright. So we have the reception desk. The next thing we're gonna need is well you would need a receptionist but an assistant but what I'm going to do is get a GP office because the assistant can admit them all she wants or he but they won't be able to do anything till we have a doctor a GP who can see them so let's just add the GP's office before we hire people We're adding the usual cast of characters to the, the office. There we go. We put on our lovely posters. Food pyramid poster, that's right, put it in there. Alright. Get a certificate down, because everyone wants to make sure it's a real doctor. And that My certificate on the wall makes all the difference. So now we have that office, we gotta hire people. We need an assistant. There's our two star, positive, motivated, hiring that person, of course. And doctors, we, oh, we have a four, we have two four stars. That one has psychiatry, diagnostics, let's take it. All right, great. So the first patient is admitted. And if you notice, the doctor went right back into the office and is willing to see that patient. Now, we know we're gonna have to create a pharmacy, but that space, it just won't hold anything. You see the problem, it just won't hold it. And that patient needs a ward. Needs a ward. Still can't hold. There's an awkward space there. Very awkward. Now, what 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 becomes clear is that I did not realize that by building the pharmacy here, I would be selling the reception desk and one of the benches. Until, <laughs> and this goes on for quite a while. So, not good. Not good at all. So while I'm busy playing with the pharmacy. We have this problem. Morning. Try not to slip in the sick. Let's add things to our room. We want our filing cabinet, we want our bin, this machinery, let's add a fire extinguisher. Now that we have the hand sanitizer, let's do it. Still only a level two room from the prestige level. And it's a pretty small pharmacy. So let's get some poster down maybe. Attention. Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. Can't get it to level three. Or can I? It's close. Nope. Ooh, and there, there goes the reception desk. And I'm not realizing it. All I see now is I need a nurse. So I'm going to go hire a nurse, a two-star nurse. Class clone likes to argue, boom, great job. Nurse, please go to the pharmacy. Ward required, ward required. I'm getting a lot of wards here. So I need to build a ward.
And the spaces in the hospital are a little interesting too because the little dips in, you kind of wonder, is it enough? Um, should I put that door? You know, Our it's, it's director, Stacey, interesting shapes. To a holistic nature commune to have her appendix removed, but all they had was tree surgeons. And so here's here's that door problem. I don't want to move this desk really. I want it to fit pruned. there. So, and there we go. We reorient it, and it can fit. So this is good. And let's add some desk. Now I haven't realized that I can't get too wide in the desk. I'm gonna have to put some, um, oh I can. That was another room. All right, that was enough then. Even so, I think this ward is a little cramped when you add everything else in here. So we're gonna add some windows because, you know, this is a good thing. And the ward's almost at level three already. It's halfway to level three, so this is good. And I decide to expand it even more because um, what would fit in that corner? What would fit in Attention. that corner? Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. Now this is a fairly substantial ward but I'm I'm thinking I'll only add one locker because I only plan to have one nurse in here if I get a second nurse then I'll add a second locker and here's the problem I've added too many things we can put a plant there we can't put one there, but we can put one there. See, there you go. Boom, plant. And they're not even, but I added them anyway. Put some posters up. Get a notice board up. Drawing, put it there. Get a clock going. That's right. We're, we're deep into level 3 now. Put the chair there. Boom. Beautiful. We need to hire a nurse. We got one award with ward management, which is awesome. And he is in there. But there, we have a death already. We have problems. So that's the only janitor with ghost hunting ability. And she is going I didn't even read and then I've now realized that there is no reception because of the pop-up at the bottom so or have I not realized this yet I have not realized this yet I'm putting a bathroom down I'm doing the bathroom first. <laughs> Confused. And since we have the golden toilets, we're going to use those, of course. It's very flashy, but it does. Um, it says that it, it makes them go less often. So I think this is positive. To reduce traffic for you. into those Hearing bathrooms. Hearing this voice coming out of nowhere every few minutes. But don't worry, I'm not inside your head. I'm just inside I your I don't know radio. about drinking fountains in bathrooms. That's where the music lifts too. Seems odd to me. Music like this. And then I'm probably noticing that very unhappy face now. Gave up waiting for reception 33 days since arrival and I look and there is no reception desk. This is a problem. And then it dawns on me, I can't fit it there anymore. So where do I put this reception desk?
So that space, that dodgy space right there, that's about, that's a very suitable space for this. Boom. It's down. So this is not a good start to this level. Uh -huh. <laughs> People are rage kidding because they can't even log, um, join the hospital. <clears throat> There's been an outbreak of Mock Star now. I never turned on a challenge. Ever. So I need to build a psychiatric, a psychiatric room, psychology. And again, it's the same problem as the room. You have to make it longer to, or you have this dead space by the door there. So, big room is okay. Alright, come on. You can figure it out. There we go. Expensive bookcases. Well, kudosh expensive, I should say. Alien cabinet. Get a bin by the door. Put some plants in the room. Right by the patient's head, we'll put that test up there. Our certificate is prominently displayed. Patient drawings and a clock, maybe. There we go. Boom. Now, we had hired a, a doctor with psychiatry before. But we have a five star doctor here. Let's hire that doctor. He does not have psychiatry, so he will have to leave that room. And here's a three star doctor with psychiatry. Of course I placed them in the wrong areas, but hey, that's okay. They will figure it out. Great news, Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a training license. This will allow us to train staff in all our hospitals. Oh, so I have to build a training room now. Clone. Clowns are everywhere, apparently they keep escaping from the traveling circus. Their hijinks can be a real nuisance. We'll need some new equipment to deal with them. The Orb Foundation has a patented method for recalibrating the minds of clones, supporting their rehabilitation back into society. They have offered to supply us with the necessary equipment if we can demonstrate our ability to mold our own staff. Sounds a bit sinister to me, but who am I to judge? Like, molding? So clearly our doctor is very happy, he's moving off, and look at that walk, oh he's energized, that's an energized walk. So we put a seat there, so all my plans to have seats um, at the beginning kind of went out the door because of uh, messing up. And here comes our first clone, this is awesome. And I've spent half the money I started out with, and I've earned pretty much nothing. So it's a problem. Here come our mock stars. Yes, do that move, do that move. And they're gonna go straight towards the psychologist. Yes, show that move, yes. Good Mike, good Mike, good Mike, yes.
So we're hiring some janitors, and the hospital still has the same problem. We need to start thinking about how we're going to do diagnostic and treatment. Um, we do need that clone clinic though, so let us do that. We have our training room. We bought that area over to the left. Um, and the sizes of this hospital means it's kind of weird. It's different from the other one in that when you build a room, you have either these overly large um, hallways or you're going to have an impossible to fit situation. So I don't know. I don't know. We need to look at how we're going to resize our rooms to accommodate the different configurations. Now we're building our clown room. Dehomorphia. Dehomorphia. Yeah, let's see what that does. I'm very curious. Put our bin in. Get an extinguisher in. Let's try and beautify it. After all, though, it is a pretty machine. I am certified to treat clones. And then I notice I can purchase a cannon. Oh, <laughs> it only works for clones, but really? I, I want a cannon. What does a cannon do? Let's put it in the corner. Alright, build that room. Nice enough room. It requires a nurse, so let's hire a nurse. Ooh, a five star nurse. Alright, means I don't have to, to um, train that nurse. Alright, we're ready for the clones. We already had one clone rage quitting because there was no treatment room for them. But we've managed to get a clone going, a clone clinic going. Now that nurse is a trait called Nasty and he's coughing into his hands um, without using the hand sanitizer. So he's spreading germs, he's spreading germs. Imagine the knobs on that machine. Dripping mucus perhaps. Oh no, look at that! Look at that! Oh no, we got the sads! And... Are you cured? Are you cured? Yes, you are cured. $9,000. That's a hefty penny. And there's the cannon at Faz Convetti. That's beautiful. We cured 4 out of 4 with Mock Star. So we got some Kudash. Kudash, we got some reputation we got some money and we helped with the publicity that nurse loves playing with that camera now we've unlocked that aerial and there's a few things missing for us on this side. Ooh, pans on. We can't upgrade because we don't have a mechanic. Any of our janitors, none of our janitors have a mechanic. Oh no, the pans on guy's dying! So, we're gonna have to hire somebody with a slot maybe and train them. But it's a five star. Lovely. So let us train. So we're gonna do somebody with mechanics, because that's nobody we own has mechanics. And we're gonna get a guest trainer in. And there's only one person who has a free slot who we just hired. And so they're gonna go over and get trained in mechanics. This is awesome. 
would also have had another person who can learn mechanics right away. Then it dawns on me that I don't have a staff, so let's build one. We get our coach in, some windows. How many of you use lockers at your office? I think in later levels, as we move up, they must have surgery. Uh, I'm very curious to see what that is. I have a policy that staff don't get snack machines in their office. It should be for everyone, so they just need to step out. There's that warning about our staff. Yeah, we know. We're addressing it. Let's put some plants in this room. Beautiful paintings. I don't know whose certificate we put up. Put up a notice board, put up drawings of people. You can put your kids up there. Get a telephone, because you know, we work late. Clock, you know, go back to work. And look at those lovely things I can't afford. But there we go, we have our stuff. Very useful. Hello to all my faithful listeners out there. This is Ricky Hawthorne, ready to pour another jar of good old fashioned Ooh, honey into your ears. Crown. And remember, the honey I'm referring to here is my voice. There's no need to panic and call in to complain like last time. Attention, would all so our ward is empty. That cannon is popular. We need a general diagnostic room. Let's put down the easy scan. The table. Some lovely windows. Everybody must see you get examined. That's how we work in this hospital. Down. Hand sanitizer. No, no, I didn't put that down. It annoys me how the plant can't fit. Plant there and there. Since it's general diagnostics, let's put that in. The eye test poster. The food chain, food pyramid, certificate. We're at level 3 now. Clock and a chair. Beautiful. End of. We're starting to get patients with our doctor who was on break. That's already the third. Ooh, mime crisis. A psychiatric condition that causes the sufferer to perceive things that aren't there. We've got some buildings down now. Here comes a mime. So we have our doctor resting. Good for him. He's thirsty. But I believe I need to do toilets over here before I can add anything else. Where to put them? Again, with the weird shapes of the room, of the whole building itself, it seems to take over how you can place your room. 
we only use golden toilets and they do have an advantage, so. Let's get some sinks down. We have too many damages, really. Can you really have too many janitors? Well, would you believe it? Let's get that A big tree came instead. crashing through my conservatory last night. Hand sanitizer well, down. no sense dwelling on the past, and the place does look greener now. It's a nice song to middle. celebrate. Maybe a clock? Yes, how long have I been in this bathroom? I always take on challenges. However, I think this challenge, get a hands out to level 4, is just simply unachievable. I don't have enough things unlocked to jazz up the room to hit the level 4 prestige level. So I'm going to find myself adding things to this room right now which have no bearing on the pans lab. That's one of the things I didn't want to do. But you know, in the heat of the moment, you do what you think is necessary. So I'm looking, I already have a hand sanitizer in there. Maybe some posters. Let's add the ITES poster. Because you know, you take it in the pan off the head, so maybe you need to um, discuss if you can still see. There's already a clock in there. I'm looking at all the things that I haven't unlocked, which is unfortunate. So now I'm putting art which really belongs in the staff room or maybe the GP's office. That works. Still not enough to level through. I'm only half level four. I'm only halfway through three. <laughs> Another plant. Barely budged it. Extinguishers, and that's it. I realize that I just can't move this room forward anymore. Promotion from junior nurse to nurse. Congratulations, Esther. She gets an additional training slot, which we can put to good use. So what do we want? Esther's in the ward, so bedside manner is probably a good thing. And then later on, we can assign her to the the ward. We get a guest trainer in. We send Esther in to do bedside manner. She already has ward management and diagnostics, so this is awesome. She can't treat anybody yet, though. Look at that line. Good thing our assistant showed up. Ooh, that's nice. Class clown will work for peanuts. All right. Now people over in the main building are saying we're eating food and that sort of thing. So now is the time to move our treatment rooms over to the treatment building and what will be deleted there is the window I believe so put the clown thing over there we'll get some benches down start to make over here livable if you look around I haven't bought a drink stand or food for this hospital. I believe I put a water fountain down. And look, negative money. Negative money. So we got the healthcare awards. The two point county healthcare awards ceremony. 
This is our first one for Flutter, I believe. Doctor of the Year. Dark. We needed that 5,000. We got Nurse of the Year. Hugo Fiddle. Congrats, Hugo. Next, we have Rising Star. Jezebel Mayonnaise. Thank you, Jezebel. Good job. Employer, we're also employer of the year. We care incorporated. That's right. We of course have deaths. That's not our hospital. That's not all we roll. We are not the best teaching hospital. We have the smallest possible room. We are not the patient choice award. And are we the most prestigious? We are. Very nice. Want some kudosh, want some money, and we're out the red now. Very nice. People need drinks. So we really want to move that room over into our treatment area. And here's the problem. Where can it fit? Can't fit there, can't fit there, can't fit here though. But no dollar signs. Uh, boom, good job. Alright. But what can we put in the middle there? A GP's office maybe? I don't know. Psychiatry rooms can go down the middle. So let's put some drinks machines, salty snacks, and let's put a big bin. A, a nice drinking fountain over here as well. Bedside mana course complete. We need some entertainment over here so we can put that leaflet stand down. Where can the magazine run? Attention! Right Would there. all visitors please talk silently? Plant. A report released today claims and that Two plant. Point County right. has the best medical coverage in the country. And while it does say it can't vouch for what goes on in the orb wellness centers, people need sure those are top notch too. That's good enough for me. Right to the entrance of the toilet. Alright, Circus Sensei, a group of clowns have escaped from a nearby Cirque de Parfait and are looking for treatment to make themselves human again. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group. Should we have them here? Yes, send them there. Staff promotion. Whitney Lips is ready for promotion. From junior assistant to assistant. Yes. Yes, give him some more money. He has a training slot. Beautiful. And of course, this annoying message now. So we are making money, um, but we're spending it very quickly. So we know that we have our assistant, which um, just got promoted. So let us train with a consultant. Now let's hire another assistant to me. Oh, that's a lovely assistant. Hi, that one. Make sure we can keep our workflows going. We're down to eight thousand dollars, and that's it. See you next time. Please remember to subscribe. Hit that like button if you liked the video, and leave a comment. If you didn't like the video, well, you can hit the dislike button. Thank you.